the ugly side of fandom. Which is starting to overpower the good side of fandom. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Okay, I'm sure you guys have no doubt heard that uh, actress, Star Wars actress who played Rose in Last Jedi, Kelly Marie Tran, basically walked away from her social media from all the harassment from fans, fans, that didn't like her character in The Last Jedi. Uh, It says right here on Variety, on Monday night, Star Wars fan account uh, SW tweets, alerted that Tran had deleted all of the posts from her Instagram page, leaving just a black and white profile photo and a bio that reads, afraid, but doing it anyway. Now, I wanted to address this because, I mean, this showed up last night. Like I said, it said Monday night. Um, but then it, it really made the rounds today, and a lot of people had their opinions about it. And, uh, I mean, first off, I wanted to address D- DC fans. Okay, I mean, I get it. I get where you're coming from because, you know, all the shit that we had to defend. But I think we're getting a little too getting a little too defensive. Getting a little too defensive because I was getting sickened by all the tweets that said, But DC fans are toxic, right? Don't do that! Please don't do that. There's a time and a place for that. But to use this to puff up your chest and be like, what the fuck? That's bullshit. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good in any light. Please don't do that. Same with the people that said, I didn't like her character either, but this is crap. Again, don't do that. (laughs) Let's just address the bad side of Phantom. Because obviously there always there is with each fandom there's there's tox there's toxicity in each fandom when it comes to DC Marvel and uh, Star Wars. But at the same time we also have bloggers, you know, not all of them. There's and that's the thing too that I, I hate seeing. I hate seeing bloggers that I respect. I mean there are the ones out there that that defend that defend that have defended the DCU that defend Star Wars, especially like Last Jedi being so divisive. That get shit on, they get lumped together with all these various other bloggers that, you know, that that basically feed into this, you know, especially, and, and, and I know I get it, I get it guys, I know there's a lot of various people out there that shit on Zack Snyder and said, said some really bad shit and even kind of, you know, drove him away from Twitter, but I don't, I don't think that it really, I don't think that... Um, that, that he really drove Snyder away. I think he was just, he wasn't like big time on it. I think just walking away from Justice League drove him away to, and drove him to, to Vero. Because when, when it came to Twitter, he post, posted various things, you know, when it, when it, you know, the process of, uh, of Justice League. And then once he walked away, he kind of walked away from Twitter as well. Maybe he just didn't want to see the bullshit, which, you know, that does happen. He, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to address all this because, I mean, yeah, don't do that. There's a time and a place to address all that. But, I mean, Star Wars fans need to relax. But then again, I didn't see any of the, you know, the, the shit that was posted on her uh, Instagram or anything like that. I mean, the, the, it's, it's quite crazy because I even saw somebody tweet about this. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, you had like, um, you know, Jake Lloyd. I mean, he basically went a little crazy and, you know, had some troubles with law. I mean, he's he's not an actor anymore. He's just, he's screwed up. And sometimes some people might associate that with the fact of the matter that he was part of the Star Wars universe. Uh, Hayden Christensen walked away from acting because of all the shit that he got for the prequels. George Lucas sold Lucasfilm to Disney because of fandom, because of the shit that he got for the prequels. He doesn't even make movies anymore. And he's admitted that, that that was the reason why. And that was all before social media was really a thing, okay? Daisy Ridley also walked away from her her Instagram and stuff like that because all the shit she got from fans, okay? Now, it's not all the fans. I know so many Star Wars fans that uh, even if they didn't like Last Jedi or didn't like Force Awakens, you know, or Rogue One or whatever, or even Solo, you know, but they, they're not going to go and just harass one of the actresses because it's not her fault. It's not her fault. I mean... And, you know, and I'm going back to the people that said, like, oh, yeah, I didn't like her character. This is bullshit. I mean, yeah, it wasn't right to say. But, I mean, you've, you've heard me, you know, talk about it when when I talked about it in my spoiler review, when I talked about a normal review. I didn't I didn't like her character. I mean, it, I, it's not like her character. I just didn't like what they did with her character. I didn't like that whole sequence with her and Finn. It just didn't work for me. I mean, that was that was a weak point of the movie for me. Um, so, I mean, but but it just sucks when these actors i mean i mean how do you think she felt how do you think she felt like getting this extraordinary opportunity a big break i got cast in a star wars movie little old me 
you know, cast in this movie, and then half the fans absolutely hated the movie, and then all of a sudden she was getting shit on her Instagram. That's bullshit. It's really the ugly side of fandom. And it's just, it sucks that that's what social media has given us. Is give, it gives everybody a voice. And sadly, there's some just, you know, degenerates out there that just want to just spew out nonsense. I mean, I get it too. I mean, I get it from Marvel fans, obviously, down below. But I mean, I've even gotten shit from DC fans, guys. Okay? Because of the fact of the matter is, as I try to remain as partial as possible, obviously, I lean more DC and I defend the DCEU like crazy. You know, but uh, I've even gotten shit from DC fans. I've gotten shit from everybody, okay? And, you know, just every fandom has their toxicity. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, too, we also have bloggers that also feed into that, you know? When you have bloggers that are just, like, using so much emotion, and they're not, they're not being critics, they're not critiquing, you know, film. They're not critiquing these movies. They're using their emotions and saying like, this, ru this ruined my childhood. Fuck you, Ryan Johnson. You must have had a really bad childhood. You must have. <laughs> I mean, my God. If a movie like seriously ruined your life, that's sad. I mean, there's movies that I've disliked, but I, I, I wouldn't go after like the actors in there. I wouldn't go after the director or anything like that, you know? I mean, my God, it's just, it's just not a way to go for things. But the, the fact of the matter is, um, social media has created a bunch of narcissists that think they're owed something. And the thing is, they'll never be happy. That's the thing. These people will never be happy from what they get. You can, you could do this, you could play it safe, or you could be risky. Force Awakens played it safe. Last Jedi was risky as shit. And... You know, there's Star Wars fans that are just like, fuck this thing, I'm done. And, you know, there's certain reasons, you know, I mean, I've, I've watched some videos that have made some pretty valid points and I'll, you know, and I've gotten that, I've, I've gotten that. So, you know, but at the same time I'm going, but you know, I, I didn't create the Star Wars franchise. I didn't build my career to do all this. You know, I'm like, you know, if, if they gave me a movie I didn't like, fine, I'll see if the next one's good. Simple as that. You know, and that's what's so crazy about it. I mean, and like I said, you know, when it came, when it when it came to Zack Snyder and, you know, doing what he did with Man of Steel and Batman or Superman and a lot of people acted the very same way that people are now acting with Star Wars that you ruined my childhood. You took my the, my favorite characters and you pissed all over them. Bill Maher recently said it best. How come you made the movie you made and not the movie I would have made? That's what it's come to. That's exactly what it's come to. And then it gets so toxic that you go after an actress who played a role of a lifetime, big break, just doesn't make sense, you know? And this, and when you have bloggers that perpetuate that and feed into that, that's also bad too. But then again, you know, it's not all bloggers, just like it's not all Star Wars fans. It's not all DC fans. It's not all Marvel fans. We got to stop lumping. I hate the whole fucking lumping shit, which is just annoying. That's just where we are now. And I see it a lot too, where it's like, man, it's always white men, white men. Why is it always white men? But at the same time, they're like, don't lump me in with all the rest of this. It's like, but you're lumping all white men. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're in 2018. I get it. Every, every white guy is to blame for everything. That's just the way it is. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. Sorry I rambled on a little too long here, but uh, hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos. And, uh, of course, visit the closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys? And Kelly Marie Tran, if you're listening, stick with it. Okay? You're good. You're going places. Bye.